Hey, welcome back to Gun City. I'm Ferg, and today we're doing a live fire on the GSG 16. GSGs are made in Germany, so you get that top level build quality, which is really nice. But the GSG 16 is based on the popular MP5 design. Now, this is a semi automatic 22 LR, it's got a 10 round magazine. And let's take you over some of the features because GSG have loaded it with features. First of all, you've got a fake silencer. Well, hey, it looks cool and it might feel like that MP5 kind of throwback reference that we were talking about, but you've got a quad rail on the front, quad means four, and you've got four different surfaces where you can mount the attachments that you would like to. Could be a foregrip, could be a laser, could be a front night vision attachment. Now, the ambidextrous setup that GSG have done on the 16 is very cool. You've got a charging handle, which can be changed from right to left. You've got ambidextrous safety controls, and ambidextrous means whether you're right or left hand, it's gonna be easy to operate. Plus, you've got a nice big release for the mag there, and I love these mags, by the way. You've got open sights if you wanna shoot that way, or a place for a scope. And you've got an adjustable stock, which is super good if you're probably anywhere from five foot three to six foot 10. I don't even know if six foot 10's a rating, I'm pretty sure it is. Hey, and there's a strange Picatinny rail on the back here, which uh, you could comment below and tell us what you think it's for. It could be like, like a lolly mount, where you could like, I don't know, or a drink, or like an earpod. Anyway, you can comment below, I'm not sure what that's for. But hey, this is a live fire video. So let's give the GSG-16 semi-automatic 22LR a blast. All right, GSG-16, I love the mag releases on these things. I'm just gonna release, lock that bolt back. And the mags on these are beautiful because they've got the little buttons down the side, so it is a super easy way to load the magazine. Now, super easy to load. I love that about these guns, about these GSGs. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the open sights shoot on this, just because it takes a wee bit of time to be able to figure out where the sights are working. So we've got a bit of drizzle today. But we've got our Manitoba Storm jacket on, which is a lightweight coat, so it should be nice and easy. All right, there goes our mag, she's all loaded up. Magazine in. Release forward. Ready to fire. Yeah, straight on. Yeah. Wow. My goodness, this thing's accurate. And she's out. Hey, so it's got a little, the open sights, little post and little circle at the back. Put the post in the middle of the circle and you're pretty much bang on. I was super surprised off the first mag uh, that I was hitting the targets. Usually it takes a wee while to get used to it. Uh, this on the back here is a little bit different to rest just on a stock like that, but it's not too bad. If you really wanted to, you could probably put a little bit of padding on there just to make it a little bit more comfortable. But man, I'm pretty stoked with how this thing shot. All right, second mag, here we go. Boom, she's away, fire on. Mate, that's a little honey. Cycle super nice. <laughs> Smooth. Hey, so that's the GSG-16 live fire. I was super impressed. We didn't have one jam at all. It was smooth the whole time, and the sighting was really nice to use. Uh, it took virtually no time to get used to, and it was just bang on. So we haven't even put accessories on this. You'd be able to plus the thing up, but I'm super impressed with how reliable and nice to shoot the GSG-16 was.